Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to be finishing uh, this piece of butcher block here. We're going to be turning this into a stand-up desk. So there will be um, another video where we attach this to the stand-up desk frame. Um, but what we're doing in today's video is we are going to uh, take the shrink wrap off of the butcher block and we're going to uh, finish it uh, with this here. Um, it's made by this brand. I think this is pronounced Watco Butcher Block Oil and Finish. Uh, this is what we're going to use. And make sure that when you do use this, that you read through all the uh, safety instructions and instructions on the back here. Um, and, you know, this will tell you what you need to know on how to properly apply this and also how to use it both safely and properly. And make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. Uh, for today's fit video, when we do this, I'm going to be wearing nitrile gloves and I'm going to put on a pair of safety goggles and a good quality mask. And then also uh, on the butcher block, make sure that you follow any use and care instructions um, that it has as well. And make sure that you always take all safety precautions. Okay, so we're going to take the shrink wrap off and then um, underneath the butcher block, I'm going to put down some cardboard um, just in case uh, there's any drips or anything once we uh, do start to apply the oil and finish. Um, but right now, the first thing that we need to do is uh, after we take off uh, the shrink wrap and the cardboard here, on the instructions for this, it tells us that we need to sand this uh, with 150 and 220 grit sandpaper. Um, so we're going to be doing, uh, you know, a, a light sanding uh, before we do apply this. So, and make sure that before you start sanding or applying the oil and finish that you're in a well ventilated area. Okay, so we found this butcher block at Home Depot, and it's made by this company here, Hardwood Reflections, and it's 100% solid hevia, and the measurements on this butcher block are 74 inches by 25 inches by 1.5 inches, and then um, the oil and finish that we're using, made by this company here, Watco, and we found this one at Lowe's. Okay, um, so let me get all of the shrink wrap and cardboard taken off and I'll be back and then we'll begin the sanding process. Okay, so we're about to start the sanding process and we turn the butcher block over because we're going to be finishing the bottom first. Um, and then when the bottom's done being finished, we'll turn it over and we'll finish the top and the sides. So I'm going to start the sanding process on the bottom here now. Um, I have all my safety equipment on, um, so let's go ahead and sand the bottom here. And you want to make sure that you sand in the same direction that the grain is. Okay, so now that we're done sanding, I need to make sure to wipe off all of the sanding dust. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to wipe off all the dust and then we'll move on to the next part uh, where we start to finish the butcher block. Okay, so we have the oil and finish all mixed up and now we're going to uh, start to apply this to the butcher block. I'm just using a uh, clean rag here that we have and so I'm just going to get a little bit on the rag here like this and then I'm just going to um, you know, wipe this in the same direction as the grain like so and we're just going to coat the whole bottom of the butcher block. And I did lay some uh, cardboard down around the perimeter uh, just to hopefully help in case there are any uh, drips or spills. So um, we'll get the bottom of the butcher block, uh, you know, uh, all covered with the oil and finish and I'll be back.
Okay, so this is what it came out looking like. We probably used about 20 or 25 percent uh, of the oil and finish can, so there's still a lot left for the top and the sides. We're going to allow this to dry for a little bit, um, and then we'll turn it over, um, and we'll sand the top, and we'll go from there. So we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, so we've turned the butcher block over, and now I'm going to uh, sand the top here and the sides, and then I'll be back, and then we'll move on to um, the oil and finish of the top and the sides of the butcher block. Okay, so um, we've already sanded the top and the sides and wiped up all the sanding dust. Now I'm remixing up the um, butcher block oil and finish and we're going to apply this to the top and to the sides. guys so this is what it came out looking like we're all done uh, with the oil and finish and I think it came out looking really good we're really happy with it we've moved the butcher block into the garage for now to allow it time to dry and there will be a part two to this video where we attach this butcher block to the stand-up desk um, and when we're done with that video I'll link that video at the end of this one and if you're interested and have time please check that video out Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.